and this KGP rules bout will take place in the minus 78 kilogram division over three two minute rounds introducing to you firstly fighting out of the blue corner representing Enfield Fighters Gym in North London it's Lucas Duda and across the ring fighting out of the red corner representing Team Chu Jim in Central London. It's Alexander Tuskov. So fight number nine, Lucas Duda from Enfield Fighters Gym. The second man of the evening after Erdi Kavaskoli. And he's up against Alexandra Choshev from Team Chu. Alex looks massive at the weight. Really thick in the body. Backing his man up. Right from the word go. Nice. is holding centre ring. He's walking his man down, looking for that shot. Just digs in the low kick. Nice. Fainting with the hands and Drives that kick in low again. Good sportsmanship as well. Yeah, I think he was fine with it. It was just a little bit high on the inside of the thigh, but it wasn't a groin shot. It was legit. Lucas Duda, patient on the outside. He just felt the sting in some of these shots early, as you say. Trocher, very big, looking powerful at the weight. Yeah, neither man really blocking anything at the moment, which is a bit of a war of attrition. You can see the reddening on the, the inside of the legs of the taller man. Oh, crashes that one in the side of the leg. When you're this close on our commentary position, you may be able to see us top left of your screen now and again. You really can feel the impact of those shots. Yeah, nice straight hands there from uh, from Alex of Team Tube. Shoshev again worked that body kick well. Backs his man into the corner. Again, he's not blocking that leg kick. Duda needs to start blocking that leg kick because he's taking hard shots. Duda just doubled that kick up to the body. Didn't seem to concern Shoshev. Goes back to his corner just with a little limp actually, Shoshev. And I wonder whether you noticed it at the same time as I did, Dave, whether yeah. that's uh, a couple of those low kicks. It looks to be too impactful, but maybe they've just taken their toll on that. Uh, on Shoshev indeed. It looks like it's his right leg that he was actually limping on and he's got a reddening just behind the, the right knee there. He's opting not to sit down which is uh, interesting. Yeah. Some guys just favour that but it does seem like he's uh, he was hobbling a little bit on that leg and I wonder if uh, the guys in the blue corner then from Enfield Fighters Gym will notice that and capitalise. Corners, 10 seconds. Well, certainly the opening round was controlled by Shoshev. Perhaps some of those low kicks from Lucas do that got through and been impactful. We'll see a little more perhaps through round number two. Shoshev goes back to work on the inside of the leg of Duda. Stiff jab there from the taller man. <laughs> was a little look. Yeah, you heard that crack the box, didn't you? Well, sift jab from Duda. Box his way out to the corner. Shoshev again goes low, keeps his man off balance. And look at that. I, I wonder goes. if that was partly down to how battered his left leg is there. Look at the reddening on the, the left leg of Duda. Oh, crashes that in again. This is good work from Shoshev. Sharp, accurate, powerful as well. Just keeps driving into front of that thigh, the inner groin to 
Yeah, the man from Team Two with a good game plan here because this, the the uh, the man in the blue corner, Duda, is not blocking that lead leg at all. So chop the inside, chop the outside, slow the man down. He's just dictating the space without doing too much as well, isn't he? Just nice economical movement, cutting off the ring well, keeping Duda pinned to the ropes and using that height and reach advantage. And every time Duda comes back, he's blocking Shoshev. And then just slamming in shots of his own. It's a really interesting contest to watch through round number two. Shoshev, it looks to us anyway to be in full control so far. Nice teep though from Duda. You can see the reddening in this leg just as it gets smashed, just as I say it. See the uh, watchful eye of Sean Bowlin, the referee, just hasn't taken his gaze off Duda. And just wonder whether that's an indication that he feels perhaps Duda is being hurt a bit here and he's certainly on the back foot. Bowlin is keeping a close eye on him. Certainly getting his leg volleyed off on the front there, inside and out. Nice catch and counter there from Shoshev, comes forward again and end of the round, comes to a close, really, really solid round from the uh, Team Chu man, just shaking off the, the left leg, some of the highlights from round number two, talking through what we're seeing here Nate. Yeah, you can see that, look at how hard these leg kicks are going in, two unanswered again, I don't, I don't actually know if he's blocked one of these leg kicks at all in this fight. It just shows how tough he is. There's another one goes in as we see it here and he wobbles on it. And how he's standing, it baffles me. Corners, 10 seconds. Third and final round between Lucas Duda in the blue corner, Alexander Shoshev from Team Chu in the red. Shoshev has been in full control so far. Duda comes back, high kick, then low kick, high oh, kick block, just... low kick landed. Makes me feel, I feel the pain for this guy. His left leg is just mincemeat at the moment, getting chopped inside and out for the whole three rounds. Well, as they say, David, if you ain't broke, don't fix it. And Shoshev is just working away with what works, keeping that range well, as you see there. Just looks to step back out of distance. And then once he's in throwing range, just launches that rear leg onto the thigh of Duda. Yeah, as you say, I think the man from Team 2 has got a good game plan and he's implementing it well as well. I wouldn't change anything, really. Absolutely. Just clinical, isn't it? It's... Uh, a comfortable night's work for him. He's found what worked early and he's stuck with it. And Duda has not been able to make the requisite adjustments. Nice one, two, and just sweeps away go. the leg. Really competent work. The basics done well from Alexander Shoshev. It's too little now. You can see the reddening right round the back of that left leg onto the back of the right leg as well. It's been chopped so hard round the side. I suppose that will take the sting out of the punches as well, Dave. And even you, as a, a, a seasoned fighter, wincing at the impact of these shots, I think that says volumes here. Amazing, really, that dude is not um, hes not limping as much as he looks like he should, he yeah, should be. Yeah, I was going to say, Incredibly he's made tough. of stone, man. <laughs> he's one tough guy, because, but he's not going to be walking right for a week. Maybe he's a quarter tie, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> and he's certainly passed the test of durability here at the O2 in London. Terrific undercard we've had so far at the Muay Thai Grand Prix. Just one more to go after this before two of the main events get underway and then of course we're bringing you Lion Fight live from London. And Chris Lloyd and Dave Fenson with you ringside as these two warriors come head to head. A lovely show of respect between uh, Alexander Shoshev and Lucas Duda. It was pretty dominant from the Team Chu man from one to three. Yeah, as we see the replay, it was pretty much the same all the way through, wasn't it? The clinical implementation of a good game plan. Solid win there to Team Chu. Yeah, well, they won't, uh, they won't always be that easy. 
it's certainly not. That one is a huge welt on the shin of Shenko uh, there. Oof. Yeah. I'll show Chef rather. He, um, he was using that left leg to full effect. And uh, Sean Bowen and the referee brings him to the centre. And Peter Lowe has the result. And ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, your ringside judges have reached a unanimous decision, all in favour of your winner. Fighting out of the red corner, it's Alexander Toskov.